Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War The English Campaign. We're in the middle of a battle here, one of which we're winning now, and one of which I envisage we're going to uh, finish off these Spanish idiots rather quickly from this point forth. Charge! Oh, and now they start to run. Isn't that just hunkily dorily? Shall we run them down? I think we've got them now, haven't we? Pretty much. It's just the running down exercise. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Just mopping up a few men now, that's all we need to do. There we go, a few more mopping up. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Where's my other horses? There they are, galloping away. Catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. Do do do. Behold, continue. Run. run them down. Wee, wee. <laughs> like some perverse game. Run down the Spanish dogs! Whoop de doo! And another one bites the dust. So everybody? Who else is left? There's some more up there, look. Doo -doo -doo. Can you make it to the red line in time? Can you make it? No you can't! Oh and you're captured! Oh no, he's rounding, they're rounding him up like a sheepdog. And you're captured. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valour. We kill 1,000... How many men? 1,300? Excuse me. And you... Five, yeah, about 1,300. And you, we only lost 200 and a bit. That's a good result if you ask me. It seemed very hectic to play that battle with all the hill... Or Cockeyed and stuff, but I think we did. As, I think I did as well as I could have done there. No. Wasn't pretty, but it did the job. <laughs> and now we can do exactly what. Oh, see? <laughs> see? God's sake! Shut up! Nicholas the Merciless! He's now got a, a change of name. We've got Nicholas the Merciless, King Ambrose the Tyrant, Simon the Honest, Bloody Mitchell the Wrathful. That's good, that's good. Right, I think Popey won't like us attacking the Spanish now either, but tough cookies. Tough cookies, my friend! So, before I commence this next battle, I might even auto resolve it. As much as it's going to make people cringe quite badly, I might auto resolve it. An order. I might. I'm still thinking. Right, I think we're ready to go. I think the last part of this, or the last act of this part, is going to My be king. taking Marseille. My king. So the question yes, remains: Moving to crush the enemy. Attack. Oh, 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 that's just that's just uh, swayed it for me. One, th I hate siege battles. Army strength ratio of four to one. Typically, are to resolve, and I'm not going to change it for this battle. Do do do! I lost 100 men. We take Marseille, and uh, excellent day. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. And you know what's going to happen? Victory! Look at it. These people now kneel before us, my lord. Potential for revolt. You besmirched the name of the English last time with your antics, Marseille. Mitchell couldn't contend with you. Nicholas Horston is not going to take any chances. He's not called the Merciless for nothing. So, you heretic bastards, die. Burn this place to the ground. Every last woman and child, I don't give two craps now, they will bend down to English rule. That's right, tax rate up to maximum. They have bowed down. Let's get this place back into order. I'm not having it. Bloody disrespectful dogs. Anyway, 
Sorry. King Ambrose the Tyrant has now calmed down and recovered from his hernia. <laughs> and is finally happy with the fact that he finally has Marseille under control. No chance of revolt now. The populace has been called. Let's get this place up and running with English speed. So we're going to get the warehouses, get the great markets, let's get the city halls, get the public order buildings together and Marseille resistance is futile! <laughs> Indeed it is! Indeed it is! So Marseille is ours! Nicholas Horston has finally done what Mitchell couldn't uh, but never mind, so there we go. And with that bombshell, I'm almost tempted to end these few parts. End them on a high, because I know if I click end turn next, I'm going to have battle after battle against these Danish dogs. And I think now is a suitable place to end this part. So, a quick recap as per usual. And we'll start from England and work our way down. An honor, sire. Aston of West Derby, as per your request, you have your two units of armoured stores. You are heading to Inverness to govern the settlement. It's still on very high tax rate. Oh, there we go, look at that. Didn't see that last time. <laughs> uh, but uh, when you get there, then the, the settlement will be in your hands. But until you get there, the king still has the say. So that's Aston of West Derby. Uh, everything else in England is hunky-dory. Yes, Howard Griffin is 51. He's currently Governor of Nottingham. Uh, good old King Ambrose, 50 years old, still doing a good job, still defying the Pope, doing as he pleases, murdering innocent people in Marseille, or ordering the murder of innocent people in Marseille, but he doesn't give two craps. He hasn't built this empire to what it is today by being Mr. Goody Two-Shoes. So there you go, that's him there. Josias of Dwatrich has been pulled back to Bordeaux. Currently strengthening the uh, Ballista Towers. Retraining the troops as well, by the looks of it. There we go. Ralph Watkins, exactly the same. You are in uh, building the Ballista Towers to strengthen the, the uh, Toulouse garrison there. Um, so that's you two sorted out. Simon Maitland, God bless you. Are you having the most nightmare of a time in Antwerp? You've repelled three full stack armies. Or is it four? Could be four. I've lost track now. But you have got one more about to start braying on your door. I only keep my fingers crossed that you can do it again. Because I do think that they are close to defeat. And then we have Elfgar. Stockholm has fallen. Hopefully it won't revolt by the time they get the Spear Militia to increase the public order. Oslo is under our control. Command me, sir. You're marching to the boats so that you can then go on to Aarhus and take the last of the Danes northern settlements as per our plan and then you can return to England. Anthony Stewart, you're with your father. He's given you control of the army for now to give you some experience. 16 years old, come of age. Pretty decent stats for a 16 year old. There's your traits, and there is another family member for somebody to take control of. Uh, so, if you're interested in taking control of Anthony Stewart and joining the family, as per usual, send me a personal message via YouTube, and I will put you in the draw. I have a list of people already showing interest in this character, and they've been added already, um, but feel free to... Uh, as I say, send me a personal message. I want to be Anthony Stewart, 16 years old, a chance of a character to really uh, have a good number of years with him. There you go, send me that personal message and we'll see who turns out to be Anthony Stewart in the next set of parts. So that's Anthony Stewart and his dad, Eilfgar, that's what they're doing. And the final two characters, we have good old Nicholas Horston, as I said, vanquisher of the French, great defender of Dijon, and now the queller of Marseille. He really has been one of the most influential generals, I think, of this campaign so far. Nicholas the Merciless, as he has so appropriately been named, now in control of Marseille. 51 years old. Are you going to retire on this lovely Mediterranean coast? Lovely weather, lovely wine, chill out for your last few years or are you going to do something else let me know and the final piece 
of the puzzle. Mitchell the Raffle finally gets to march down into Italian northern lands to take on the Milanese single-handedly as per his request. Let's just pray to God that he get past Benencasa Notarius without having your head well it's not even head chopped off is it? It's without being burnt at the stake. The human torch, burnt to a cinder, cremated, whatever you want to call it. We have a diplomat. Sire. We have some Hungarians, some Venetians and some Holy Romans. Can we negotiate somehow to get those to attack one of the Milanese lands on our behalf? We'll have to find out in the next part. So, two more settlements added to our land. We will control 22 regions. We are pretty much at the halfway stage of the 45. We have an English Pope. Greatest General Simon the Honest. Hmm. Got to agree with that one. I really do got to agree with that one. Diplomacy. We're still at war with Spain. Still at war with Milan. Still at war with everybody and anybody who doesn't like the cut of our jib. But the Holy Romans are enemies with Milan. Are the Hungarians? I didn't check that one out actually. Are the Hungarians? Yes, the Hun Hungarians are at war with Milan. What about Venice? No, Venice are not, but I'm sure they could be persuaded to be. Yes siree. And nothing has changed with Popey. He's got a little bit older. We've managed to get back another cross. So we're sort of new, sort of semi-semi <laughs> with him. Although, uh, the Danes, because of their current antics, I, I reckon are so close to excommunication. And once that happens, we are free to rain down any kind of death upon them as we can muster. So there we go, that's this current set of parts, I hope you've enjoyed them. Next set of updates will come in about four days time as per usual. So, uh, all that needs to be said is see you again next time. Take care, goodbye.